Welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. It's your homie Cody GT, and today, my boys, what I wanted to go ahead and bring to you in this video is a very large announcement that dropped, I believe it was earlier today. Um, so I put out a video earlier today, and when I put that video out, this announcement did not drop. Um, so I noticed it uh, just recently and so I wanted to go ahead and do a video for you and just go over everything that is going to be coming to the global side of Honkai Impact 3. So if you find this video slightly informative and you enjoy what you saw today, go ahead and drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy what you're seeing today, go ahead and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, but my boys... What we have is a few different things coming. So first of all, we have the MiHoYo infiltration. Um, so uh, this will begin on June 18th and basically it is the Dragon Boat Festival and that's kind of what this is all centered around. Uh, basically it's a secret holiday celebrated in the East. Um, but the idea for implementing this event in game was rejected by the game designers not only that they also took the crystals that ai chan had prepared to give the captains uh, so basically what we're going to go ahead and do is get those crystals back um, from the designers and the developers uh, and that is a really cool concept that i like and uh, it's just a different twist on how to do events so um, the event time, it looks like it's June 11th is when this is actually going to begin as far as the events and it's going to run through June 20th. Uh, so AI Chan will take players to see the four developers at the top of the ladder. They're known as the four kings. And so uh, because the environment can get quite chaotic, some unknown targets besides the four kings may also appear. So there looks like there will be some other objects that may appear other than what we are you know, expected to battle. As you can see, there's four objectives and um, three unknown object objectives, um, with the final one being June 17th. So the first one is going to start June 11th, and that is the Abyss Designer. And then you can see on the 12th, so each day after that, there's a new one. There's going to be the Maiden Designer, the Makeup Designer, the Battle Designer, and then we have the unknown ones. Um, and so that's going to run through the 17th. Uh, but what's really cool about this, not only event is a really cool concept, um, but during the event period, we're going to receive 50 crystals for clearing the six objectives for the first time. Um, so for the first six objectives, you're going to get 50 crystals each, which is fantastic. And so in other words, uh, or also, I apologize, you can receive 100 crystals for defeating the final objective for the first time. Um, so that unknown final objective on June 17th, you're going to get 100 crystals for that. Uh, so basically we can receive 400 crystals just by doing those objectives so that is fantastic um, and I think that's really really cool that they're doing as far as the event goes um, so you can clear the stages or you can enter the stages three times per day it does not consume any stamina so you don't have to worry about that which is awesome and you just have to make sure you're captain level 15. So like I mentioned in all my videos where you have to be a certain captain level, if you're on the cusp, if you're right there, go ahead and grind it out before the start date to make sure that you can go ahead and participate in this event because you're definitely going to want to, especially if you're free to play, you're going to want to go ahead and grab those crystals. That's going to be uh, very, very paramount to go ahead and grab. Uh, so that is the MiHoYo infiltration um, again like I mentioned I think that's just a really cool concept a, a cool twist um, and something different as far as what they're gonna bring as an event so I'm excited for that so expect videos on that for sure um, moving on we got the seven day login rewards um, also very cool uh, what we're gonna be able to receive in the seven day login reward is for the dragon boat festival um, like I mentioned that's what this is all centered around that is going to be uh, begin June 8th and it's going to go through June 20th. Um, so just through the event dates. Now you log in for seven days during the event period to receive 400 crystals. So that's another 400 crystal right there. My boys, 100k coins um, and then a couple uh, crystals as far as the ether and soul crystals go and a rare May dragon boat stigma. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm excited to see what that's all about. Um, and then you just have to make sure you're level 6 and above. So again, like I mentioned with the level 15, if you're right at 4 or 5 or even 3, uh, even if you started, go ahead and grind that out. Make sure you get to level 6 so you can participate and uh, get those rewards. Um, event content on the day of the Dragon Boat Festival. Captains can receive a special 100 crystals, so another 100 crystals 
which um, is on top of what we already mentioned before via the in-game mail from AI Champ. Be sure not to miss it. Um, and that looks like the event time is the June 18th through June 19th. That is when the actual Dragon Boat Festival will be. Uh, so make sure you log in, make sure you claim those 100 crystals. Um, so you can see that they're, they're being very generous with the crystals as far as free to play goes. Um, this is a great opportunity to go ahead and stock up and say, and say, excuse me, getting choked up i'm so excited about this <laughs> and be able to receive um you know a good amount of crystals right now so that is the seven day login rewards now we have himigo's birthday expansion supply so we do have an expansion supply coming that's centered around himiko for her birthday so that's really cool um so june 11th is uh the birthday of himiko the official birthday so to celebrate um, they're giving us a, an expansion supply, like I mentioned, centered around her with a drop rate for the Himiko characters such as Blood Rose, Scarlet Fusion, and Valkyrie Triumph are increased. Uh, so if that's something that you've been really wanting as far as, you know, you've been really gunning for a Blood Rose or a Triumph or a Scarlet Fusion, uh, for example, you know, I've been, if you've seen any of my videos, I've been wanting Blood Rose for quite some time now. Uh, this is a great opportunity to go ahead and grab that. Now, I will preference and, and give a disclaimer. Um, I personally do not advise you to go ahead and spend crystals on this expansion supply unless it's, you know, it is what you really want. If you really, really want a Himiko and one of those is one that you've just been really gunning for, I mean, this is, there are, there is not a better time to go ahead and grab a Himiko character. Um, but what I mean by that is to get that specific one that you really that that you're going for, um, you know, it's it's rare to, to for example, like I want Blood Rose. So, you know, the chances of me getting Blood Rose are increased. Yeah. And it's probably the best chance to go ahead and grab her. That is true. But to like get that specific one, you know, that specific Kimiko, it, it's rare. Um, and I just think that there's better ways to spend your crystals as far as what we should be getting um, in the near future. Uh, as far as characters and weapons and gear and stigmas, um, that, that's just my recommendation, my boys, is to save your crystals, not to spend on the expansion supply. Um, also to, you know, um, to, to expand on that as well, you know, the Himiko characters um, are fantastic right now, but um, from what I've seen, late game, even Blood Rose, they kind of fall off late game. And so, um, you know, that's just something to keep in mind as well. But like I mentioned, by all means, if you've been gunning for a Himiko, I mean, I've done videos where I was gunning for Triumph, or not even Triumph, I was gunning for just a Himiko character in general I was spending crystals for, um, and then I, I did a hunt for Blood Rose, so, um, you know, who am I to talk, but uh, that's just my, my humble opinion, and that is just my advice to you. Um, is to save your crystals, but like I mentioned, you know, it, it is cool that they're doing this and it is a great Probably one of the best opportunities to get a Himiko character now as far as Triumph and Scarlet Fusion You can farm those fragments and and unlock them that way um, For Blood Rose, you know that that would be the only one I would really recommend going for uh, Spending crystals on the other ones you can go ahead and unlock them with fragments so um you know, and then the usual um, as far as what it's going to cost, you know, 280 crystals each time. Now, also in this expansion supply, there's Battle Storm and Snowy Sniper and Shadow Dash. Um, so that is a thing right there. And then Fragments for them also, as well as, you know, chips and you know, uh, chests and um, gold and other uh, three and two star uh, equipment as well. So last but not least the event shop has been extended so yay sakura's battle suit has been added to the event shop shop um, and you can go ahead and get some miko fragments as well and that looks like it's going to be uh, starting on the 8th as well through the first so very long time period there um, during the event period captains can use golden blades so the currency that we're actually farming right now from the blood realm event um, is what you'll go ahead and use to acquire these items um, in the event shop to purchase up to 40 of Ye Sakura's Miko fragments, which for me this is fantastic um, because I've been wanting to get my Miko to SS rank um, and so I've been uh, farming her fragments and so this is just another way for me to farm them. So this is really awesome for me personally. Um, but those 40 fragments actually equal Miko, so you can unlock Miko with those 40 fragments if you don't have her already. Um, and this event shop is for captain levels 15 and above. So again, 
you're going to want to get to that uh, captain level of 15. Uh, but that is everything, my boys. That is everything that's coming. A lot coming to global here starting the uh, 8th of June. So be ready for that. Videos will be dropped. I will be covering it all. So if you want to stay up to date um, with everything that is going to be coming to the global side of Honkai Impact 3, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to stay notified every time I upload a video. And I will keep you guys up to date like I mentioned. And I'm going to do videos on all that. So I'm super excited for that all to come. And I hope you are as well. Comment below. Let me know if you are. But to end the video, my boys, let's go ahead and, you know, let's do what we traditionally do. I'll do a single summon to end the video off. So, and we'll go ahead and get out of here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do it on the focus supply um, just to see what we can get. Just to see. All right. So let's go ahead and do this one right here. And, um, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, so like I mentioned before, comment below. Let me know if you're excited for any of that to come. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most. Did not get anything, but that is all right. Wasn't expecting anything, to be quite honest with you. But I'm going to get out of here, my boys. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you're excited for the most to come to the global side. There's a lot that's going to be coming. I'm going to be covering all that. So like I mentioned before, hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed what you saw and you find it slightly informative. Um, but until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT and I'm out.